Welcome to the Pathy demonstration of Smart Wearable Device for Women's Safety with IoT. So here we are providing uh, like health monitoring system with the, with the help of this wristband. So it has the main features like health monitoring continuously from this pulse sensor we will get the heartbeat and from this temperature sensor we will get the temperature of this person and also if there is any fall detection or any heating was detected so there we are using the MEMS ADXL345 sensor this one is a MEMS ADXL345 sensor which can detect the fall or any heating was done accidentally and uh, next is uh, the whenever this uh, person need of emergency then the person press this switch for 3 seconds continuously means long press then it will consider as an abnormality so coming to the abnormalities pressing switch or heating or if the heart rate is above 100 beats per minute or if the temperature is above 100 degree Fahrenheit based on these four abnormalities the first step is system will send the message alerts to the registered phone number with the help of this GSM module we are using A6 GSM module and uh, we should place SIM card inside that is a very first step and uh, the next action is from this ESP32 camera the system will capture the three photos and uh, it will be stored inside this memory card so inside this memory card the captured images will be stored and then after the image will be sent to the registered email id so this is the final alerting step so these are the images we have received uh, previously okay and uh, the next SMS is so, right. These are the messages we have received for abnormal conditions like fall detected. So every message consists of the alert message related to the respective action and the next link that will, that will be the GPS link, uh, Google Maps and heart rate and temperature, heart rate in BPM and temperature and please check some action so fall detection and the next uh, emergency switch and heartbeat also and temperature also will receive the sms so gps uh, the location values will be received from the gps so which we have placed in between these modules there we can see the one antenna so that is a gps module so the very first step we before demonstrating this project we should place this kit under the sky view then only the gps will get the satellite vision so it can provide as a live location values so the next step is we need to on the hotspot in your phone using that hotspot the system will send the images to the email id if you don't have, if you don't provide the hotspot also no need to worry the captured images will be stored inside the memory card so the hotspot is going to be for only option for the email sending so now set up the wi-fi hotspots configure that to project 5780 all are small letters without any space without any capital letter and password should be 12345689 and the band should be 2.4 gigahertz after setting these three points on the hotspots along with data and now we can mount this in your hand so while mounting this wipe off your hand you should have the sweat or sweat on your hand so that the like sensor provides the accurate, accurate values now we can one more thing is insert the sim card so insert a micro sim card this is going to be the push to lock sim it should be inserted in this manner the notch should be this side again push to lock so you can format the memory card also and after these setups on the power supply so if it, when you on this one it doesn't uh, show the display just give some time and on that so we can see the welcome message on the LCD screen after initial successfully done there we can see the latitude latitude values and heartbeat values continuously so coming to the heating or fall detection so when I hit that then the system will send the message alerts you can see the fall alerts there is a loop once the loop completes it will check with the messages related to the uh, abnormal conditions so we got the message alerts so fall alerts so it uh, you should provide at least 30 to 40 seconds time gap between the abnormal inputs so now the system is sending the email alerts 
wait till you have received the email then only provide the next abnormal inputs so based on the network speed the system will take time to send the email alerts right we got the email now right so this is the image we have received now okay and coming to the emergency just press and hold this switch at least of 3 seconds duration right now the emergency alert So we got the message alerts for the emergency, emergency and fall, and now let us see the mail again. Then next we can show you the abnormality for temperature by increasing that by using any heating objects. Right. So we got the mail alerts right so there you can see the so just I am changing the subject for every time why because if you place the same subject then the system will send the emails as in uh, one bunch of mails now let us provide the heat to that sensor so if we tilt that also it won't send the message alerts only for a hitting only it can send the message alerts now right We got the mail. Let me increase the temperature. So this black color, this small black color, is the main temperature sensor. Right, temperature alert message on the LCD screen. So here is the temperature alert and image. email sending it will take maximum of 30 seconds duration so meanwhile let me explain you the connections so we have interface the GPS module at pin number uh, 0 as a receiving pin of nano board and next ESP32 camera is connected at the transmitting pin of nano board and GSM module at pin number 9 and ADXL 345 as well as this OLED display or interface at the pin number A4 and A5, A0 for the temperature sensor, sorry, uh, heartbeat sensor and A1 for the temperature sensor. The whole system getting power supply from this lithium ion 3.7 volts, 2000, sorry, 4300 milliampere per hour. So this is the main on-off switch and which is a rechargeable here. I am forgot to tell the recharging section also. So in order to recharge this battery, just connect the B type charger to this. Right. So here, this below one is the B type charger. Kind of gently connect, don't push hardly. And now this LED blinking red shows the battery is charging. Once the blinking red stops and LED continuously on, that's indication of battery is fully charged. Then you can disconnect the charging to that. You can utilize this for at least of one hour. Right.